Today, I would like to give you a brief information about coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease, also called coronary heart disease, is the number one killer all around the world. Heart disease is a result of plaque buildup in your arteries, which blocks blood flow and heightens the risk for heart attack and stroke. The arteries, which start out smooth and elastic, become narrow and rigid, restricting blood flow to the heart. The heart becomes starved of oxygen and the vital nutrients it needs to pump properly. How does coronary artery disease develop? From a young age, cholesterol-laden plaque can start to deposit in the blood vessel walls. As you get older, the plaque burden builds up. Eventually, a narrowed coronary artery may develop. During times of increased exertion or stress, the narrowed arteries may not be able to supply enough oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. In some cases, a blood clot may totally block the blood supply to the heart muscle, causing heart attack. The most common symptom of coronary artery disease is chest pain. Angina can be described as a heaviness, pressure, aching, burning, numbness, fullness, squeezing or painful feeling. It can easily be mistaken for indigestion or heartburn. Angina is usually felt in the chest, but may also be felt in the left shoulder, arms, neck, back or jaw. Your doctor can tell if you have coronary artery disease by listening to your complaints, by physical examination and by some tests, such as EKG, exercise stress test, CT coronary angiography scan or cardiac catheterization. These tests help your doctor evaluate the extent of your coronary heart disease, its effect on the function of your heart and the best form of treatment for you. Treatment for coronary artery disease involves making lifestyle changes, taking medications, possibly undergoing invasive and or surgical procedures, and seeing your cardiologist for regular checkups. First thing is to reduce your risk factors. If you smoke, just quit. Avoid processed foods and adopt a low trans fat, low salt and low sugar diet. Keep your blood sugar in control if you have diabetes and exercise regularly. Second approach is taking medications. If making lifestyle changes is not enough to manage your heart disease, medications may be needed to help your heart work more efficiently and receive more oxygen-rich blood. The drugs you take will be evaluated and prescribed by your doctor on every visit. Most invasive treatment options are surgery and stenting. Common procedures to treat coronary artery disease include balloon angioplasty, stent placement, and coronary artery bypass surgery. All of these procedures increase blood supply to your heart, but they do not cure coronary heart disease. You will still need to decrease your risk factors to prevent future disease. Most of the time, if coronary artery disease has exceeded some threshold, for example, if you have disease in all three main coronary branches, bypass surgery is the only treatment option to prolong life with a better quality. During any urgent chest pain, we have to recognize our heart disease symptoms and the situations that cause them. We have to call and apply emergency medical service as soon as possible. If you have angina and have been prescribed nitroglycerin, call your doctor or have someone take you to the nearest emergency room if pain persists after taking your dose of nitroglycerin.